Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. Today's video is the third and last part of our weekly news segment. The first two videos talked about game updates, sneak peeks, teasers, and announcements. In this video, we'll be talking about big news that don't necessarily fit in those two categories. So without further ado, let's get to the list. To start off our list, Ubisoft pulls the plug on rumored NFT game Project Q. Ubisoft has now confirmed that Project Q has been cancelled. The project, which was first announced back in April 2022, caught the attention of many fans, speculating that it could be a blockchain-based game. The cancellation of the project was first supported by Insider Gaming. However, the official announcement of cancellation was posted to the announcement channel on Discord. Quote, Sadly, we have to cancel our upcoming closed test as Project Q will no longer continue development. This also means that we will need to shut down this Discord server. End quote. Said a representative from Ubisoft. The language used during Project Q's releases led some fans to believe that the game was an NFT and that blockchain-based items were included into it. However, the game's NFT releases have failed to garner an audience despite the company's knowledge on market trends. The game was revealed as a multiplayer team battle arena experience, with speculation that it might be a battle royale similar to Blast Royale. However, Ubisoft has recently said that they will refocus its efforts on other projects and has chosen to abandon Project Q. Um, next, Alterverse announces shoppable billboards for Sky City in partnership with Scooty. Alterverse, an engine-based gaming metaverse, will be getting shoppable billboards in the Sky City realm, in partnership with the Scooty Store, a gaming marketplace that allows gamers to earn free Scooty used for redeeming in-game items and real-life products. This new partnership means that the Scooty Store is being integrated into Sky City in the form of interactive objects or billboards. Clicking on one of them will bring up the Scooty kiosk, through which you can browse your way through a catalog of real-life products that are available in the Scooty marketplace, allowing you to order various different items while being in the metaverse. Every purchase is rewarded with Scooty, which players will be able to exchange into Alterverse's ace tokens. In the Medium post, Alterverse has revealed that they have a varied list of vendor partners covering a range of different categories, including but not limited to gaming, apparel, food, fashion, fitness, and more. By purchasing products using Scooty inside Alterverse, plus can get back up to 5% of the retail price on each order in the form of Scooty rewards. The team has also revealed that both Scooty and Alterverse are forming a partnership with Game Master, which is described as the ultimate gaming competition that is being hosted by American actor Will Wheaton, with the goal of the collaboration being to create an exciting experience around the upcoming TV show that is set to premiere in the spring of this year. If you're liking this news list so far, remember to check out our website and news section to be updated on everything about blockchain gaming. You can also subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated on all our videos. Now let's get back to the list. Um, next, Habo teams up with Cryptomon to launch an AR treasure hunt event. Habo X, a Web3 hotel by Sioux Lake, has teamed up with Cryptomon, a Pokemon-inspired virtual game, to launch an augmented reality treasure hunt. Known as Pink Moon, the event will allow players to search for hidden items in their neighborhoods and win in-game NFTs. The Pink Moon treasure hunt will only last for 3 days, starting February 5th 3pm UTC to February 7th 3pm UTC. According to Habo, this event is only open to a limited number of participants, so interested players must secure their spots quickly. In this event, players will take up the role of a trainer using the GPS location on their mobile devices to find Habo and Cryptomon items. Most of them are available in the form of NFTs as shown below. During the hunt, players can expect to find limited edition NFTs from Habo, such as Pixel Eggs, Pink Serum Machines, and Professor Holograms. All Habo branded items won in Pink Moon will be sent to the player's immutable X wallets. As for the Cryptomon prize pool, players will stand a chance to win Kmon tokens, loot boxes, and NFTs like Cryptomons, digital hoodies, hunter passes, and boost tokens. These prizes will be sent to the winner's Cryptomon accounts after the event. At present, Habo X is only accessible to NFT avatars and room owners. So if you want any Habo NFTs in Pink Moon but do not hold any NFT avatars or hotel rooms, you can always display your prizes in non-NFT hotels by Habo until Habo X's public launch. Up next, Arcade and Decentral Games are back with another ICE token takeover. After launching the first ICE tournament in Arcade, Decentral Games is back with another token takeover with prizes over $6,000 in ICE. This sponsored tournament will run from January 26th to 30th, allowing players to earn ICE and special GBOT wearable NFTs. The Arcade app will host several ICE competitions across all games, including GBOT exclusive titles like Energy Wars and Dark Lords. Players can always enter these tournaments by buying in with the GMEE tokens. If you score high in any of these competitions, you will earn a share of the 1.5 million ICE prize pool, worth over $6,000. Participants will also get a GBOT wearable NFT by taking part in at least one ICE tournament. Like the last token takeover, this GBOT NFT skin will grant holders exclusive access to ice poker tournaments at Decentral Games. Each of them will also come with 9 shine for players to enter several rounds of ice poker tournaments in Decentraland. And lastly, Twitch co-founder's Web3 gaming platform Fractal launches on Polygon. Fractal, a leading Web3 gaming hub founded by Twitch co-founder Justin Can, has joined the Polygon ecosystem. Through this partnership, the NFT marketplace will provide a suite of tools for game developers to integrate their projects with blockchain features. Fractal will be offering its product suite F-Studio, which includes a launchpad, marketplace, tournaments, developer SDK, game launcher, and sign-in with Fractal service to the top 30 blockchain games on Polygon. 
These include Ether Games, Champions Ascension, Phantom Galaxies, Life Beyond, Sunflower Land, League of Kingdoms, and much more. Launched in 2021, Fractal initially began its life as an NFT game marketplace on Solana before expanding to Ethereum and now the Polygon blockchain. The team has been building a set of product rails, making it easier for developers to focus on making the best Web3 game. From a Fractal wallet supporting Web2 sign-ins to an SDK loaded with tournaments and minting on-demand features, Fractal has established itself as the go-to platform for blockchain game creators. Polygon will also make a strategic investment in Fractal as part of the joint partnership. Quote, inspired by Justin's learnings from founding Twitch, Fractal's mission has been to relentlessly support Web3 game developers with everything they need to build the future of gaming. End quote, said Robin Chan, a co-founder of Fractal. He added, quote, from user acquisition to blockchain tooling to financial infrastructure, we put the framework in place so they can focus on successful game development. Partnering with Polygon's own efforts to provide a high-performance environment to its community will bring this future forward even faster. End quote. Commenting on the partnership, Sandeep Nailwal, co-founder of the Polygon Foundation, said, quote, Fractal has emerged a crucial hub for the discovery of blockchain games. By teaming up with Fractal and combining their impressive suite of developer tools with our own, we aim to make 2023 the year we bring Web3 gaming to the mass market, end quote. To celebrate this expansion, Fractal will be hosting a list of game tournaments featuring new launch partners in the coming weeks. Cards of Eternity, one of the Polygon titles collaborating with the firm, has already kicked off the first Polygon launch tournament. Those who are interested can find out more here. And that's a wrap for this week's news segment. I hope these videos help if you are looking to catch up to news about blockchain gaming this week. I'll be back same time next week for another recap. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.